All right, family, let's get to the Western Conference. The most interesting storyline that we're not talking enough about is the bubble teams in the West. Get this, only five games separate the five seeds from six through ten. Now, we already know Kyrie Irving, Luka Doncic, they're with the Mavs. Kevin Durant, Book, Beal, they're with the Suns. Let's jump to the nine seed. You already know LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and then Steph Curry, Draymond Green, Chris Paul, Clay Thompson with the Warriors. A lot of championship pedigree on those teams, but not a lot of spots remain. Shady, starting with you, I could not wait to hear your answer to this when we derive this question. Which one of these bubble playoff teams is scariest? Which one of these teams could you see competing for a title, whether it's the six seed, the seven seed, eight seed, nine seed, ten seed in the West? I look at chemistry and I look at matchups, and I got to go with the Mavericks. Ooh! Ain't they been rolling right now? They they won five in a row, right? Five. Uh, they've been balling. I think of, out of all these teams, look at all the players. In my opinion, I got to go with Luka as the best player of everybody. Okay. Right? Not mad at that. In the play-in? In the play-in. Yeah. Brother balling. You can't guard him. He puts you on foul trouble. He slows the game down. He sees the floor so well. And then I remember him taking the Mavericks two years ago to the Western Conference yeah. Finals. Yeah. Right? Now you get Kyrie Irving? Now they gelling. They shooting the ball well. And then look, these dudes are averaging about 60 points a game. What can you do with them? I've been watching them play man, on the road at home. They look good. So I'm going to go with the Mavericks. I like that. I like yeah, the Mavericks. They're they they talented, they bro. They have been rolling. I'm going with KD and the Suns. You I'm have three premier scores yeah. on the offensive side of the ball. You have a winning record against the number one seed this season in the Denver Nuggets. I believe they are the biggest problem for the Denver Nuggets. KD can get a bucket whenever he wants. Book can get a bucket whenever he wants. Bill can get a bucket whenever he wants. They are a matchup problem for any team. I am taking the Suns. If they can get rolling... And you got Nokic down there rebounding, playing defense. This is a really good team if they can get rolling. When the big three play, they shooting 53% from the field. They scoring a bunch of points. It's going to be hard to stop these dudes. I'm taking the Suns. Shady, I'm with the Suns, but here's why. And tell me if and why I'm wrong. Is at the end of the day, you have to beat the Nuggets. Yes, you do. You got to beat the Nuggets. And they have beat them. So I don't really care how good you are in the Western Conference versus everybody else. All I care about is, can you beat the Nuggets? What we don't talk enough about in sports, and Shady, we brought this up at times, sports is about matchups. Mm -hmm. What teams do, particularly, I'll go NFL quick, and then I'll come back to NBA, in the draft is, can we win our division? Yep. So if you're right. currently in the AFC West, you're not trying to beat the Niners. No, you're you're only saying, can we beat Patrick Mahomes? Mm -hmm. That's it. You draft a roster to beat Pat. You draft linemen to beat Pat. Because the most important thing is, can you beat Pat? And win the division. If you in the West, the only thing that matters, can you beat the Nuggets? While I do believe the Mavs might be better than the Suns, the Suns match up better versus the Nuggets. Yeah, so for me, it's got to be the Suns being the biggest threat because the Suns are the only legitimate team in my mind that can knock off the Nuggets. They're 2-1 and one versus the Nuggets this year. They went 2-2 two and two through the first four games of the playoff series versus the Nuggets last year. They lost 4-2, to two, but they're a much improved team. Shady... Respond to that aspect of it. Like, the yeah, Nuggets match point. up well. Yeah, no, they do. That, that's, a, that's a great point. I just think, man, when I, when I watch all these guys, and I can't believe I'm about to say this, because I always thought that in this league, I haven't seen anybody score at the level of Kevin Durant, mm -hmm. right, since a Kobe Bryant. And even that was different because yeah. you're talking about a seven-footer can dribble, can shoot, can do it. I can play anywhere. Yeah. But when you watch Luka, man, he controls the whole game. Yeah. Not only does he control the game, he controls the pace. Mm -hmm. He wears you down over and over again. He sees the whole floor. And the scary, and, you, and the first question was, what NBA team in the bubble team is the scariest? He's the scariest offensive player we've seen. Mm. And then you add in Kyrie Irving? Yeah. yeah. So the, with the first group and the, and the second group, you got, you got offensive scores yeah. everywhere. Yeah. So that's let a me, great point with the Suns. I just think that with the Mavericks, man, they're a scary group. Let me throw this out to y'all. Y'all are champions here at this desk. Y'all have championship pedigree yourself. If you think about the Mavs, let's be honest. Luca, closest he's gotten is Western Conference Finals. Mm -hmm. Jason Kidd is a coach. He hasn't won it. There was a player. Shout out to Jason Kidd, 2011 Dallas Mavericks. Thank you for that. I'm born in Dallas. I was at the parade. Appreciate you. But as a coach, Jason Kidd hasn't done it. Meanwhile, in the West, the Warriors, they need no introduction. Y'all know what time it is. The Lakers, LeBron, AD, y'all know what type of time it is. The Suns, Spring Vogel, he's done it. Kevin Durant, he's done it. Y'all know what type of time it is. But the Mavs, you got Kyrie. Yeah. But Kyrie without LeBron, we also don't have to talk about it, but he ain't won nothing, nor has he gotten close to winning anything. Are we doing Shady, this? does that matter? Like, does it matter that if it push comes to shove, the Mavericks, I only it. one person knows how to get there, I, I, and I, it's Kyrie, and does Kyrie really know well, how to get there? I watched Luka take that, that team, yes, sir. and this time they weren't that good, yeah. to the Western Conference Finals. Yes, sir. Against the Warriors. 
right? And now you add in Kyrie Irving. But then another thing is when we talk about these players and teams, like AD, how much experience does AD have without LeBron? Not right? no, not as Kevin Durant, great player. He's one of my favorites. You know that he's the god. Mm -hmm. I mean, what type of experience he got without Steph? And without Steph Curry? Mm -hmm. Come on. So as much as you want to do this and do that, I could do the same thing. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, for me though, too though. Come on. And the reason why I'm, I'm, I mean, the Mavs are playing good basketball right now. But in the playoffs, we know intensity, everything, violence, everything. So the refs letting a lot of stuff go. You are gonna have to defend. This team ain't never defended. You know what I'm saying? At least with the Suns. KD gonna defend, Book gonna defend, like you have guys that's gonna defend and they can score. And at any given point of time, it's a walking bucket. If you need a bucket, go to Book, go to K, it's a walking bucket. So for me, just the problems and the matchups that the Suns present to the Nuggets, the number one seed, is a problem. Why have neither of you all mentioned the Lakers? LeBron James family, he was just in the Western Conference Finals. The Mavericks, I don't even know if yeah. they made the playoffs last year. They missed it, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. The Suns, they didn't make it to the finals. The Lakers were there. Shady, you haven't mentioned the Lakers. James, you haven't mentioned the Lakers. Why have I not heard the Lakers and LeBron James from either of y'all? I mean, that'll be a good pick. I think they're a good team. We've seen them come out to play in last year, the Western Conference Finals, so it's not like it's not possible. Mm -hmm. um, I just, they're just so up and down for me. I and mean, they, they got some games, they look unbeatable like whoa mm -hmm. you see them guys you see ad wow you see lebron is he 25 again and then there's some games like what the hell are they doing where's Aust where's austin Reeves at i can't find him d lo mm -hmm. shoot the ball extremely well phenomenal and there's some games like yo is d is he trying to play or is he trying to get traded so that's why with lakers is just so inconsistent yeah. for me with the mavericks man I, that luca man even though the players we talking about i gotta say right now he might be the best yeah. You know, I, I'm with him. Um, you put up a really good graphic yesterday of AD, LeBron scored 60 points, whatever this is what it is. Three columns. But the last one was <laughs> Rui. Yeah. D'Lo. Yeah. Austin Reeves. Yeah. I can't trust them every night on a consistent level. And the reason why I can't, because they ain't showed me this season really consistently. Well so I can't really trust the Lakers because they're not going to win if those three dudes are not consistent. Incredibly well said. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.